Hey guys, what is up? So, Kim Kardashian is in a bit of a pickle, and this is all stemming from her becoming the new brand ambassador for Balenciaga. And initially, when I saw this, I was initially going to defend it, but as I thought about it even more, I'm not going to say you shouldn't do it, but it just looks iffy to me. So, if you're not aware, if you had no idea, a few months ago, Balenciaga was in like a huge scandal in regards to kids, and you know what? Here are a few videos to explain explain what was going on so for some reason balenciaga thought it was a good idea to post this on their website and nobody was gonna notice but me being the occult investigator that i am <laughs> first thing i noticed was this little white rabbit right here classic alice in wonderland symbolism follow the white rabbit matrix also they use alice in wonderland and mk ultra programming you know breaking the mind and a whole bunch of other things that I can't say on TikTok or they'll take my page, but I had I do have a whole video on Alice in Wonderland on my YouTube. And the poor children are oblivious. Like this baby doesn't know that it's holding a BDSM doll. Like why is the doll even dressed like that? And why does it have panda eyes? Come on guys. Then when you keep scrolling, you see this on their website. Looks normal, just a bag, right? No, let's zoom in on those documents on that table. I can't actually read what's on the paper or say it out loud, but you know, pause and read. And to further explain what was going on on that page, yeah, use your imagination. But as usual, people are just going to make excuses and say, oh, they're just being edgy. That's the you're reading too deep into it. Nobody told you to zoom in on the papers. Like literally another one. Why does the doll have that on? Like what, what, what was the point? And the way all these gift shop items are like displayed on the table, like we've seen in adult things when they display their toys and stuff like come on like common sense they are playing in people's faces and why are they using children and then this was interesting too because this man right here on the site has a key in his hand a balenciaga key and you know one might think oh, well maybe there's a lock somewhere on that gym bag right no locks here not on the side from any angle but remember who does have a lock the bears that are with the children like, come on, it does not take, come on. If it's fake, why is it real? Like, you can say I'm reaching all you want, but come, like, come on. So, yeah, that happened. The internet was rightfully upset about it. And Kim, actually, it took her a while to make a statement. <laughs> and people were really talking about this because a lot of people know that Kim and Balenciaga are kind of associated. They have a, a working relationship and she's seen wearing a lot of Balenciaga pieces. So people were waiting for a statement from her. It took quite a while, not too long, but long enough for people to notice. And she made a statement and basically she was like, she was disgusted and shaken by the incident because it was horrible and when i saw that they did that they made those photographs as marketing campaigns even though i wasn't sympathetic to them like i wasn't um defending what they did i still sort of understood that perhaps this was just a way to shock people but at the same time i was thinking okay well why would you want to shock people with kids and you know extralize stuff why are those things in the same like atmosphere and moreover how have i become so accustomed to the fact that a lot of luxury brands and other brands are going to do a lot of provocative things to bring attention to themselves that i'm even looking at this situation where in many instances i wouldn't bat an eye in calling them out but i'm kind of trying to see where they were coming from you know what i mean but still there's no excuse so i just sort of kept my opinions to myself it's a horrible situation all around like children should never be put in a situation or should never be used to make such a statement like grown adults can do whatever they want but not with kids we're not going because these things normalize them so that's how i felt but i also felt like hey enough time's gonna pass people are going to get over this situation and people are going to perhaps see that this was mostly just a way to drum up attention it was a way to um shock people you know like shock value but now kim kardashian has been announced as the brand ambassador and quite frankly even though like i'm like okay yes i get it it was a horrible thing to do i'm still feeling a little bit kind of disgusted and a lot of netizens also feel the same way but at the same time i feel like at some point this controversy is gonna have to die like people are gonna have to look past this horrible thing that team at balenciaga did yeah so she made a statement about becoming the new ambassador for balenciaga i'm not gonna read it um i 
don't care. But here are a few people's opinions. This post says, so the child pee scandal is over and it's back to business as usual. Another comment says, the same brand that extralized children, we just supposed to forget about that. Another comment said, well, that was fast. This comment says, no integrity, no morals, stands for nothing. How it went from denouncing the brand, relinquishing your involvement, to now being the brand ambassador with a palm on the face emoji. Yeah, I think in the background, Balenciaga has done a lot of work too. I don't know this for a fact. I think in the background, Balenciaga has done a lot of work to specifically show the people that they want to work with that this was just a huge misunderstanding. This was a very horrible, horrible lapse in judgment and possibly they've promise that they're never gonna do something like that just to cause up drama and controversy but my thing is balenciaga is just a brand right it's the people who are going to be working with the brand that this is going to reflect badly on kim kardashian cardi b because this is not something that people are just going to like ignore or forget this is like a really serious thing there are some things that are just unforgivable there are some things that you look at and it's never going to be okay like you can't look at like there are some situations where you look at it and you're like oh they may have changed they've evolved as a person they know better now like racism or misogyny or homophobia or something like that but when it comes to messing with kids it's very hard for people to let go and i feel like this is what a lot of people are getting to it's not the brand that is going to suffer in the long term it's the people who are going to be working with the brand who are going to suffer and i think i'm not praising this but i think going Going with Kim Kardashian is kind of a genius move because she has sort of proven herself to mostly not give a fuck about a lot of shady things that go on in the companies that she works with. I think that what she does is like she looks at the evidence, she looks at the people who she's working with and you know she has a conversation with them. They're like okay this is a very horrible thing to do. It was a it was a terrible terrible misjudgment. We should have never done it. We're never gonna do it again. And she's looking at that and she's like okay fine great bet let's work together. I don't don't even think this is about money because Kim has enough money at this point. This comment says she waited until the allegations died to announce this. They've been working together behind the scenes. Yeah, they've been working together for a long time. I think I'm not completely correct, but knowing Kim and you know, like seeing her past red carpet looks, they've been working even before Kim divorced Kanye. So they have had some sort of working relationship for a really long time. So I don't think it was going to be that easy to just disassociate Kim Kardashian from Balenciaga. This is a brand that I think she has a lot of love for. I think if I was in her position and I had a lot of love for a brand like this, I too may be willing to overlook or willing to like come to an explanation as to why they would do something like that in the name of an advertisement campaign i mean what were they thinking like did they not like these are kids of course people are going to question it this post says balenciaga had teenagers dress in snm this is sick and disgusting shame on kim for promoting them this comment says kim is so many hungry it's scary what does the girl want to buy Courtney was right. What's driving her? How much money do you need? Like I said before, I don't think this is about money. I think this is more about the association with a brand like Balenciaga that has historically done a lot of great things in fashion. And Kim Kardashian trying to elevate her status in Hollywood and in the world in general. Like, I get why she's willing to work with this brand even after everything. It's not about money. Kim has enough money. It's more about the status that comes from working with a brand like that. This comment says, and I can't believe I'm even acknowledging it, she sold her soul a long time ago. I can't believe that in 2024, people are still this stupid. Sell your soul? <sighs> This comment says she'll do anything for money, including corrupting her morals. That's why Kanye left her. Okay, I guess this is a Kim hater. Kim left Kanye. Let's be real. Let's be honest. You may not like Kim. She's not my favorite person, but Kim left Kanye. Don't be ridiculous. Anyway, I think I've said all I wanted to say. If there's any more to add to the situation, I'll make another video. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Thank you for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.